Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is August 25th, and right now we're looking at the mid-level water vapor loop. You can see the remnants of Herald, that moisture continuing to push off to the east there. Wave bye-bye to that one. You can see the upper level low off the coast of Oregon here, and we may kick off some thunderstorms across Nevada, typical monsoon stuff, but we're going to build a pretty strong ridge here across the southern portion of the USA. It's going to warm things up for some people. We'll look at those details. We'll also take a look at the extended forecast. Looks like the European, the GFS, showing some kind of trough in the extended forecast setting up over california we'll look at that also here coming up in a moment this day in socal weather history august 25th check out 2013 remnants of tropical storm ivo impact the deserts for a second day there and you can see most of the headline makers this time of the year are is thunderstorm activity across the region this is looking back at 2013 that would be tropical storm ivo there bringing that big slug of moisture up with it here as it moved up into california so a little bit of a blast of the past there tropical remnants not unheard of for sure in california and even a tropical storm storm here we just had recently with a tropical storm in Hurricane Hillary. This is looking at record-breaking heat ahead for Phoenix, Arizona. You can see by Monday you could be breaking some records as you go. I'm gonna definitely going to warm up here. Probably looking at another string of 110 plus degree days. Not going to have a month of them as we did earlier, but still pretty warm coming up here and could be challenging some record highs. Excessive heat watches uh, include some of the uh, California desert here and some of Phoenix, as you can see. Blythe just missing, missing Joshua Tree National Park. Here's today thunderstorm chances flagstaff very slight chance for phoenix there noon to about 7 p.m typical monsoon stuff here all the way up towards jacob lake grand canyon can't rule out a thunderstorm there as well and this is looking for southern california talking about moderate heat risk pretty typical stuff out there it's going to be warmer than normal but nothing like uh, nothing unlike what anybody's used to here across the region this is looking at total precipitation on the high resolution model you can see that thunderstorm activity across some of nevada as you go today and some of that monsoon moisture we were just talking about there but not much else for california except maybe some of the central northern sierra nevada here with the thunderstorm and as we go through the next few days you can kind of see the lack of precip here across california for the next few days but things may change to the extended forecast this is day one and again the uh, excessive rainfall outlook just for monsoon stuff across arizona as we go through day three there now this is looking a little bit further off into the future this is last night's european run there's that trough over the pacific northwest and watch this ridge build across some of the southwest usa here as this trough kind of uh, moves a little bit northward here and then eventually kicks to the Pacific Northwest. We're going to have this ridge here and warm things up a bit. But then the European wants to bring this trough down, which would include California as well. Kind of an interesting look to that. But we're still looking 160 plus hours out. We take it with a grain of salt right now. But it's definitely something to watch here as we go on in through the extended forecast. Now let's look at the GFS here. What does it say? Pretty uh, typical stuff in the short term. Good model agreement. Build the ridge over the southwest USA. Bump those temperatures up for some areas. Not so much for central and northern California. Trough sw swings through the Pacific Northwest. And then you can see the GFS also showing some troughing here as we go out to the 160 plus hour period as well. Right over top of the Bay Area there. So something to watch for sure at this point. But take it with a grain of salt as of right now. Burbank, look, you can see the warm up here, probably headed towards 100 degrees here, maybe Monday and Tuesday. European probably underdoing that by a little bit. And you can kind of see that in the GFS run here, 103, 104, Monday and Tuesday. So a gradual warm up there on into early next week, and then bringing things back down to more seasonable after that. Bakersfield, you can see maybe a, a day above average here. Not Nothing too extreme for Bakersfield here. You can see the average high this time of year, right around 100 degrees here, and then eventually tailing off as you go through early September. Sacramento bouncing just above average here for a bit. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll watch off into the future what is to see what will come. This is San Jose, a little bit of a bump here as well. Maybe a 90-degree day out there. Maybe a couple of them as you go through Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Los Angeles, this is LAX out towards the coastline a bit here. And you can see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the bump up in some of these temperatures as well. Las Vegas, check it out. You might get a 110-degree day there on Tuesday and some warm weather in the cars as you go through midweek. Phoenix, so really going to warm up here. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe six days, 110 plus here as we go and maybe breaking some daily records. We'll see how that goes as you see the slow, gradual decline in the average high temperature at this time of year. Here we go, 6 to 10 day, and you can see California still included there. This goes to September 3rd. Here's the 8 to 14 day, and hopefully this rings true. We'll see. Maybe that includes that trough there off through the extended forecast. This is the global tropic hazards. You can kind of see uh, generally about 20, maybe 20 to 40% of a chance of development out here, but still things in the upper 
levels of the atmosphere have to line up just right if something does form there to bring that back up into the area. But as always, we'll be watching for it. You can see increased chances there across some of the Atlantic Ocean there as well. And here we are looking at the fire, the smoke. Check it out. Northern California, Southern Oregon, not doing too hot out there. Fires continue to burn. Some degraded air quality across some of the Bay Area and some of the Valley but nothing too extreme across much of the rest of California, really Northern California getting the brunt of it the last couple of weeks. This is looking at eight meters, so basically surface smoke, and you can see you have some really dense smoke out there. I feel for anybody out and across this region right now, it looks like the fire a fire is kicked up here. I believe this is called the plant fire here across some of uh, you know Southern California there. So yeah, hopefully that one doesn't get too out of control there as well. But Sierra Nevada, again, doing pretty good so far this year. Let's keep it that way here, folks. Now, this is looking at that plant fire down there, but you can see all the fire activity going on across Northern California there. So if you're wondering where that smoke is coming from up there, that those that's the reason. Those are the fires. Now, here we go with the U.S. drought monitor here. Now, this is looking at, I believe, August 1st, and you can see kind of some moderate and severe across New Mexico. Arizona mostly just abnormally dry here. There was some moderate drought across California, but now let's update this. Look at New Mexico got worse. Arizona got worse too, bringing some moderate drought, even some severe into the extreme southeast portion of Arizona. Some widespread moderate introduced across Arizona. But look at the deserts of California. We wiped away a lot of that moderate drought and even abnormally dry. So California actually improved on a whole here since August 1st. Some moderate drought just clipping the eastern, southeastern portions there. But, you know, doing really well there across the state of California, especially compared to last year. So anyway, yeah, we'll watch that fantasy trough out there over the next few days. See how that evolves in the weather model forecast here. Hope you guys are liking these videos here. And, you know, click like and subscribe. Leave some comments below. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow.